the back rooms. You've been here before. Object number 83, Mobile Vacuum Cleaners. Mobile vacuum cleaners, MVCs, are objects that can be found on numerous levels. Description. MVCs are a common object found on most, if not all, levels of the back rooms. They appear as needed and will typically be passive and non-hostile. Their brand name is Backroom Robotics TM, which may suggest that they were made specifically by this unknown company. Their function is assumedly to clean the many floors or carpets inside of the back rooms. They will go after any waste found around the back rooms. Due to the back room's nature, they have been noted to have some strange properties. If any attempts are made to attack, dismantle, or otherwise harm NPCs, they have been noted to be capable of self-defense. Their most common self-defense mechanism consists of turning towards their aggressor and proceeding to engulf a body part. They then cut off this body part with a built-in set of metal teeth. After this, they continue this process until their aggressor is neutralized. They will then finish off engulfing their aggressor. When necessary, they are capable of shooting out excess debris picked up around the back rooms, typically using sharper items. They will only use this attack pattern if their aggressor is farther away than their engulfing range. After successfully weakening their aggressor, they will then engulf them in a manner similar to their primary defense mechanism. The inside of any MVC will resemble a plastic container, matching the container itself exactly. The walls of the MVC, as well as the floor, are all plastic. If the container is used to create a worn sack, it will resemble the material of the worn sack itself. All entities that come into contact with the MVCs will ignore them. It appears entities can touch it, but will not notice the MVC. If any wanderer attempts to use an MVC against an entity, the entity will ignore the MVC and instead attack the wanderer. It is possible to disable an MVC, though doing so requires specific tools. For example, using firearms have been known to be incredibly useful in breaking an MVC. Though any part of an MVC can be considered vulnerable, the middle of the top tends to be the most vulnerable spot. Once broken, the materials used to make the vacuum can all be reused. However, instead of having a standard container for debris, it has a small pocket dimension similar to a single-story house. The pocket dimensions are from an unknown location, although the most likely explanation is that Backroom's Robotics TM created these pocket dimensions in order to have a secure place for MVC debris storage. These pocket dimensions are very secure and have not ever been noted to shift or break. They all have air ducts, which all seem to connect to very obscure locations on level 1. There are no other objects inside the MVCs, other than the objects already engulfed by the MVC. The amount of space inside of an MVC is 1,400 meters cubed, with variation being only noticed within damaged MVCs. When utilized properly, you can use these pocket dimensions to create a worn sack. Worn sacks are small backpacks, which are capable of storing very large amounts of items. To create a worn sack, a debris container from an MVC is required. Best Places to Find MVCs MVCs appear as needed, therefore, it is recommended to drop a small amount of debris to catch them. The best debris to drop is a container which once held almond water. Avoid levels that are highly dangerous and have high entity counts, such as level 6. If you use these floors, it will take longer for an MVC to appear. Be sure to carry a suitable tool for breaking the MVC. The best tool to use would be a firearm, though any large blunt object, such as a hammer, works when used properly. As it is challenging to handle the small pocket dimension, it is recommended you seek an expert in developing worn sacks in order to obtain a worn sack.